How are you all? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani. You are a lecturer in management accounting. Welcome to lesson four of cost bookkeeping. Lesson four will uh, feature the integrated accounting system. Now, I told you the difference between integrated and interlocking. Mostly it's on the general ledger in the interlocking, while in the integrated we just have the normal financial uh, reporting. Where, if it is about the materials, so we just have uh, your debit, uh, the uh, raw material stores or the stores. So let me record here as the so raw material uh, stores. Uh, this. Um, you credit now uh, either the bank or cash or uh, either it is creditors account. This means that if you purchased, in fact, you can have the materials or even the purchases account. So you just debit the purchases or the material uh, stores. You credit the bank or cash, depending whether it is a cash purchase or if it's a credit purchase, then of course you credit the creditor's account. Then number two, it's about uh, the issuing of materials, which now do not have any difference. The difference is now here, where we are crediting this instead of crediting the general ledger. Otherwise, when it comes to issuing of materials, we just uh, debit here the... Uh, WIP, uh, we can also debit the uh, production overheads account. This one is because of uh, the direct materials, direct materials, and this is indirect materials. So that now you can credit your stores uh, ledger account. So that's how you can do in terms of um, the materials. So the other difference is only on the wages where you can debit the direct or the wages. You can talk of uh, wages uh, account and you credit the bank or cash, or also the creditors. So this is creditors for wages, or the accrual. This can be accrual account, uh, which you're crediting, or a bank, depending whether it's cash or not. Uh, then transferring wages is the same. There's no difference. You can transfer uh, to the WIP, the production, uh, the wages. Uh, we can have... Uh, the other difference, as number four, is about sales. So you can debit the bank, cash, or debtors account as you credit the sales account. That's the difference because the other one, we were debiting the general ledger as we credit the sales but this time, we shall not uh, do that. Uh, the other uh, difference is about the transfer of profits. We shall not transfer the profit to the general ledger. We just transfer a profit uh, to the balance sheet. So whatever profit remains, that is a balance that transfer to the uh, capital or balance sheet. That's how uh, we're going to do And that's all. Uh, there's no much difference, only the starting point and maybe the end point that uh, may differ. And therefore, we can try a question that is going to enable us to uh, understand uh, this. Uh, remember even the returns we had done. We had done ret returns. So the returns we were doing with the general ledger. But this time, if we have, we have a return, we just affect uh, the uh, creditors, of course. Uh, we affect uh, maybe the sales, we affect the debtors. But the other one will affect the general ledger. Now let's have illustration that um, uh, Bora Limited 
commenced its operations on 1st of March 2005 with a fully paid up issued share capital of shillings 500,000 represented by fixed assets of shillings 275,000 and cash at bank of shillings 225,000. The company has two departments A and B. As at that 30th of May 2005, the following transactions had taken place. One, credit purchases from suppliers amounted to shillings 573,500, of which 525,000 were in respect of raw materials and shillings 48,500 were in respect of purchases classified in the ledger accounts as production overhead items. Number two, production overhead cost absorbed in the period where Department A won 10,000, Department B won 20,000. The following uh, overhead costs were paid out uh, by check. We have administration cost, which is 25,000, production overhead cost 20,000, 20, selling cost 40,000. Number four, issues of raw materials from the stores were as follows. Department A, 180,000. Department B, 192,500. Totals, 372,500. Production overhead items, total to shillings, 65,000. The amount of staff wages was shillings, 675,000. Shillings, 500,000 was paid out in cash, while 175,000 shillings are still owed. Number six, the staff wages were analyzed as follows. Work in progress, Department A, 300,000. Work in progress, Department B, 260,000. Administration overheads, 25,000. Production overhead item, 42,500. And selling overheads, 47,500. Total, 675,000. Number seven, accruals as at 30th of May 2020. 05, where shillings 26,000 for security of production facilities and shillings 39,000 for consultancy on production procedures. Number eight, the cost of finished goods were Department A, 570,000, Department B, 555,000. Number nine, sales on credit amounted to shillings 870,000 and the cost of these credit sales was shilling 700,000. Number 10, depreciation on production plant and equipment was shilling 15,000. 11, uh, cash received from debtors totaled to shilling 520,000. And payments made to uh, creditors totaled to shilling 150,000. Required using integrated cost accounting system Record the above transactions for the three months ended 30th of May 2005. And Roman 2, profit and loss account for the period ended 30th of uh, May 2005 and a balance sheet as at uh, 30th of May 2005. End of question. Now, this question is just uh, like FA and therefore we just need to address it as if you're doing FA because this is integrated, not interlocking. For example, about um, the opening balances given, uh, we have the fixed assets, uh, we have the uh, cash at bank, uh, that is going to be our capital. So we can have it this way. This is um, fixed assets. We have uh, cash at bank. Account. Uh -huh. We have others like um, the materials or the purchases. We can have here purchases of raw materials. Account. We do have also creditors account
then we have others like uh, the wages we have wages account we have uh, production overheads uh, wages we had uh, a lot of categories so we can extend it so wages we have uh, production overheads account we have uh, do you have any administration yeah we have administration you have even selling so we have administration admin overheads account we have selling and distribution or just selling uh, expenses uh, account overhead account then we have the the rest like now the uh, the work in progress and the work in progress remember we have two departments so you have to indicate separately so you have work in progress department a account we have a uh, work in progress department b account let's see up to that point the opening balance of the fixed assets of course there must be debit so balance uh, brought forward the opening balance is 275000 275000 while cash at bank balance brought forward was uh, 225000 225000 that is of course our capital then we are told that uh, credit purchases from suppliers amounted to 573500 uh, of which 525000 were in respect of raw materials so you can have the credit purchases so we debit purchases we credit the creditor so this is by purchases i am going to debit here so this is um, creditors this is direct materials the amount is um, 525000 so 5 25,000. So you can have in the creditors we have the purchases, direct materials. This is 525,000. Then you also have the overheads of 48,500. So this one is uh, on credit. So overheads, we have overheads here, production overheads. So we just debit the overheads. Instead of debiting, this is like indirect materials. So direct materials, we have debited the purchases. Indirect, we debit the production. So this is uh, creditors. Uh, this is indirect materials, which is 48,500. Let me confirm. 48,500 is the figure exactly. So we can have here... Uh, the uh, this is also this is production overhead this is indirect materials so 48 500 that's what you have then again we have production overhead cost absorbed in the period where department a and b so overheads absorbed we can have this is uh, overhead so absorbed is here so we have uh, the wip Department A and Department B. So we are absorbing a total of 110 and 120 respectively. This is 110,000, then 120,000 respectively. So we can record here. So we have uh, Department A. This is a uh, production overheads. This is 110,000, Department A. Then you have production overheads. This is 120,000 respectively that's what you have as far as that transaction is concerned the next one is number 
Three, the following overheads cost were paid out by check. So this is about cash. So therefore, as we record, uh, administration, production, and selling. So we debit the respective accounts, we credit the bank. So like now, if it's a production, no, we start with um, administration. We have uh, administration here. So bank, we are going to have here bank account of an amount of uh, 25,000. 25,000. Uh, the ad production, production bank is 20,000. This is bank production. Bank, 20,000. And we have uh, the, se the selling of 40,000. Selling of 40,000. This is bank also. 40,000. Because we have been told they are all paid from bank. So we come to the uh, cash at bank. We credit. So we do have uh, the uh, admin overheads. This is 25,000. We have production overheads of 20,000. We have selling overheads of 40,000. That is the double entry uh, as far as uh, number three is concerned. Number four is issues of raw materials from the stores. We are as follows. So we have material. So we have it here, purchase of materials. So we issue now to the work in progress. So we can have WIP. We have A and we have B. So uh, department A is 180,000. So 180,000 you are transferring. Department B materials is 192,500. And we still have uh, another transfer to the production. This is production. Production overheads. This slide is, is indirect, of course, indirect. Over 65,000. This is 65,000. So double entry to the work in progress here. We have... Um, the uh, materials issued. This is one eight thousand department A. We have materials issued. This is a uh, one inch two five hundred. And we have uh, the production here. So production. This is um, the uh, this is uh, uh, indirect materials. Materials, so either the, the purchases, so this one is, uh, how much is it? Uh, 65,000. That is the double entry, as far as not number four is concerned. Number five, the amount of staff wages was uh, 675,000. 500 was paid out in cash, while 175 is still owing. So first of all, to record the amount of uh, wages. So we are going to record the double entry. On the debit side of wages because an expense, then we are going to be showing the, what is uh, balancing, what has not been paid. The double entry in terms of wages would have been, like we said, if these are wages, we would, uh, would have debited uh, the wages, we credit the bank. And whatever is not paid, then we not go to the bank, but will remain in this account. And then... I uh, will have it as closing balance uh, either to the creditors or so. So therefore, if I can record specifically what appears, I can record um, an amount. We have uh, the WIP. So, so WIP is what we, go, we will be transferring to the other department. So let me just put here, first of all, the bank is 500,000. And we still have the balance. Now, this being creditors... If this account is maintained as a liability, it has a credit balance. And therefore, the balance carried down will be on the debit side, carried down. Then the brought down will be on the credit side. So anyway, we can have here the balance. This is balance carried down. <laughs>